Hi Aquarius, welcome to your bonus read for the week. I'm going to be taking a look at the person on your mind and what they're hiding from you. I'm going to pull three cards to start, clarify each card to give us some more insight. And at the end of your reading, I'm going to pull three messages plus one bonus message from this person. Now these are going to be things that you might want to hear, things you might not want to hear and answers to questions you possibly have. We will get that at the end. This is general. It may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel as it helps me to pick up on your energy for all future reads. Please remember that time is fluid. So this could be something that happened in your past, currently in your present or coming up in your future. Well, let's go ahead and jump right in. The person on Aquarius's mind, show me what they are hiding from Aquarius. Aquarius, this person wants a second chance. <laughs> okay, so this person's realizing that they are in love with you. This person wants a second chance with you. They feel that they've had this spiritual awakening or even not just spiritual awakening, like a spiritual lesson that they've learned and that they want to act quickly to have a second chance because they want to follow their heart and their intuition that, you know, this is what I want. I want to see where things go. Um, we have the judgment card, the higher than, as well as the chariot. So these are major things, lifelong things that they want to do. Um, you know, they're ready to face judgment with you. They're ready to accept things a certain way and they're ready for a rebirth, um, a change, you know, wanting to co-create a relationship here and move quickly into that. Um, and it's all based on what they have learned. Like they have learned a, a spiritual lesson through what feels like a separation from you and wanting to come back and fix things. So, and telling you, like giving you a genuine apology and showing you a lot of love. And like, if you give me another chance, Aquarius, I promise I'll show you that I can do better and show you that, you know, this is what we both want. Um, let's go ahead and clarify that judgment card. They don't want to let go the four of pentacles. They feel that they have too much invested with you. They want a second chance because they don't want to let go. There's too much invested there. The seven of cups, um, they feel like they can't change what they did as well. If they had other options and treated you like one as well, um, they can't change that, but they're willing to accept the judgment and they know that you're not going to let go of the fact that they either treated you like an option or had other options. There's also the fact that they really want this second chance and they have too much invested in you is how they feel. So they're ready to look at the different choices of in options of how can we make this work? You know, brainstorming, how can I get Aquarius back? How can I make them see that I'm really serious this time? Um, and they even get lost in the thought of having the second chance and how it would go and what they would say. I feel like they practice, they wrote something down, you know, because they want to get their words right. So let's go ahead and clarify the Hierophant. Ooh, wow. So they learned a spiritual lesson of being separated from you and it's made them feel with this Knight of Cups in reverse that, you know, um, other options that they had were not love. And not only that, even though they were flirtatious with other people, they had, okay, the Wheel of Fortune comes out. So I'm seeing karma here, um, you know, things being karmic that they learned a spiritual lesson by somebody else doing exactly to them what you or what they did to you. So karma came back around and they're like, whoa, um, not only that, they couldn't find the love that you were giving them. They realized that all the other options they had were not good enough. Uh, being without you was not good enough. They even didn't feel they were overly um, sensitive. They've been overly sensitive about the situation because they've been missing you wanting to come back Aquarius. And um, they just, they've, yeah. You know, what they dished out is what they got back and they didn't like that. And they've realized this isn't love and um, that the people they were dealing with or the other options they had were also doing the same things that they were doing to you. It's just, hey, things, yeah, karma does come around. So let's go ahead and clarify the chariot. Uh-huh. 
Ooh, they know they apps. Okay, so here are the thing, Aquarius. Like they want to quick, they want to show up physically. The chariot, they want to show up, and they know with this Queen of Wands coming out in a 50-50 energy that you are not going to make it easy for them. They feel that you are going to tell them off. Um, they know that you don't need them, that you wouldn't chase after them. But them showing up, they feel that even though you're going to be upset with them, they do have some passionate things that you desire and they feel that through those passionate things yeah we're not gonna call it love because they want sex <laughs> so but they think they have something golden that they can give you nobody else can give you um in that area um and also that it always brings you two back together, Aquarius. So they're feeling that even though you're upset with them and they know that you're going to be mad and you're going to tell them off, they're like, well, we can make up through, you know, make up sex. And so to them, they feel that that's how they would get you back. Um, but there's also the fact that, you know, this person, oh, nobody else is as good looking as you are. Nobody else is as amazing as you are. And they've realized that whether they tell you this or not, they have desired you. There's even the fact that other people they were with, um, they they couldn't focus on being with them and intimate with them because they, anytime they were intimate with other people, they thought of you. <laughs> okay. So let's go ahead and get some messages here. Um, geez, I can't even shuffle. I'm just like, whoa, your reading is spicy. Okay, very spicy. So it's like spicy queso. Okay, let's go ahead and get some messages from this person on Aquarius's mind. Ooh, okay, so that's why. Oh, wow. I want to come back. Hold on. We have a couple things. Okay. Okay, first thing that comes out is going to be, I'm so grateful for the spiritual lesson, but it came out in reverse. So they're not. They don't like that karma came around to bite them in the booty. Okay, they don't like that this spiritual lesson taught them a lot of things, even though they're like, oh my gosh, I realize now that through this, I really want them back. Is it that they want a second chance because of the fact that love didn't work out for them? Do you need to take them back? No. Should you take them back? That's up to you. But, you know, is it worth it and going to be worth your time? Are you going to go through the same? Like, what was great about the relationship and what was not so great about the relationship? So weigh out the pros and cons. If you're happier now without this person, you know, you just got to weigh things out for yourself. It's going to be your decision at the end of the day. But you do have the information that you need about this um, or where this person is not grateful for the spiritual lesson, even though it's just like karma came around and showed them, hey, guess what? You can't do this to everybody. I regret lying to you. Do they? Yes, I do see that. They're ready to face the judgment with you, Aquarius, and they do definitely regret lying to you um, because of the fact that karma came around. They don't like that, you know, they've been getting a taste of their own medicine, you know, and... Um, feeling like I just want to go back. Maybe I can fix things with them. And I really want to, I want the second chance. I want to show them I'm ready and I really want to act. That's why they're wanting to act fast as well is because things aren't going so great with other love. And also they're not as charming as they thought they were with other people or other people aren't finding like their love to be as great as you might have told them it was Aquarius or felt that it was. Um, so I feel you even though we are apart. I told you, see this person is like, I can't think of anybody else. And when they're with other people, they think about you. Um, this has been a huge lesson for them, but they don't like the way it's making them feel. And they're wanting to come back for it. They feel that because they can't stop thinking about you and that they lied to you. And they're really feeling this all sink in because of everything that is playing out in their situation that they should come back and try and give it a second chance or like that's what that means I gotta go back um, it's going to be up to you if you want to take them back or not remember you have the power to say yes and you have the power to say no um, so I bury myself in work to forget you and this is something that they try and do because they don't want to think about you but they can't help it because you're constantly on their mind and what they realize that even though they work when they stop working they can't stop thinking about you so I'm so attracted to you they just can't 
Wow, this is a huge, some people, you know, you have a very deep connection with them. Uh, maybe you had a long relationship with this person, but even if you didn't, the connection was very, very deep with this person and they are now feeling it. They didn't recognize it at first and they took it for granted. And now karma coming back around and things not working out the way that they wanted it to moving forward, they realize you're not that easy to let go of and you're not that easy to just get over. And they really feel that they have a lot invested here with you. Um, and that it's not going to be easy, but Hey, you know, we always had really great intimate moments together and that's, that's not everything. They really, they really better show up with a huge apology and like a really big gift. But you know, I just don't see them doing that, um, with a huge apology. I just see them showing up and like, can we talk and you being upset and them thinking that it's going to go into an intimate moment and then be like, Oh, we made up now. It's no, that's not makeup. <laughs> That's not makeup. And you know that. But anyways, this is what I have for you, Aquarius. If it resonates, go ahead and hit that like button. I will see you in your next reading coming up. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.